Today, we're going to be talking about this. This is Clip Studio, yes, running on Android. Hello, my name is Brad. You're not going to see my face today, just my hands and my tablet because I'm just doing a quick demo of Clip Studio here on Android. It just came out and I should give you some details first. This isn't available on every Android tablet and phone right now. This is an exclusive to the Samsung Galaxy Store. So if you have a Samsung phone or tablet, you're able to download this. It is a timed exclusive. I don't know how long that time is, when it will be coming to the Play Store, but for the time being, it's Samsung only. The cool thing about Clip Studio, why I'm excited about Clip Studio, is this is what I would consider the first real professional level drawing app available for Android. We've had several available for the iPad for quite some time, um, but this can do everything. I can draw an entire comic in this app, and, and that's why I'm excited about it, because that's something that the Android ecosystem has really needed and now it exists. This is a paid app, it is a subscription-based app. How much that subscription costs is, I'm not sure right now. So I have it here on my phone. Yeah, it's, it's available for phones too. Um, couple things to note. First of all, this is kinda cool. If you want to, you can just launch it and use it free for one hour every day. I think that is a wonderful way of, of kind of compromising, of saying, hey, if you want to use it for free, just casually, you absolutely can. And since that's available, I'd say if you have a Samsung phone or tablet and you're interested in this stuff, go ahead and download it and go ahead and try this for yourself. Second, Samsung said that six months free would be available for the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 and S7 Plus, but it looks like any Samsung device is gonna let you get your first six months for free, whether it's the phone or whether it's this this little older tablet allowed me to do the same thing, or you can sign in with your license if you already have one on the desktop. Also, side note, a lot of people are asking me, when is the review for the Tab S7 coming? We're excited about it, and unfortunately, that's it's a ways off. It's not available for pre-order yet. Uh, Samsung has sent some out to reviewers, but not to me. Ping Samsung on Twitter, tell them to send me one. Even though it is subscription-based, uh, the subscriptions up to this point have been pretty affordable, like $5 a month or $25 a year. It might be even less than $5 on some platforms. I'll, I'd have to check that. But enough of the technical stuff, let's let's check it out. So, so first of all, you see it looks like a desktop app. You've got like file, edit, animation. You've got all of these drop-downs along the top. It, it feels like a desktop app. It is a complete port of the desktop app. You even have things like the ability to have more than one document open at a time. Like, wow, where else can you do that on Android? So I've only been using this for about an hour, an hour and a half. Uh, I pulled in a page from a comic book I'm working on and here I've got a fairly large file. It's 3,976 pixels by 6,150 pixels, uh, 300 DPI. It works pretty well. I have noticed, um, you know, panning and zooming isn't, it, it works pretty well. It's it's good, it's fine. It reminds me a lot of panning and zooming on the desktop. It's a little crunchy. Uh, I will move over to this file, which is a lot smaller and it seems to be smoother. So it could be a file size thing. Could be the fact that I have two things open at once. Could be that this is like a lower end Android tablet. This is the Tab S6 Lite if you're curious. So this does run extremely well. Uh, even on this like lighter end Android tablet. But I love that I was able to open my PSD and pull in all of my layers. I could turn off my pencil layer and we could just look at the inks that I did this morning. Uh, there's so many things to love about Clip Studio. It's, it's pretty much that everything that you want to do in a drawing app, you can do here. It's always felt to me like on Android, you're getting to a point where you hit a point and you're like, okay, I wanna call this in. Mm, it's gonna take me forever to color it or I want to export it this way or I want to resize it Okay, I can't resize it now that I'm there every app seems to have a catch and this app Doesn't so over here along the left hand side We have all our tools which are pretty much the things you'd expect you you have things like your your move tool and your selection tool The eyedropper tool down here. We have our drawing tools in the second section. So you have your pen paintbrush uh, This is a little spray can you got an eraser down below you have some others like the ability to use the fill tool or draw some line tools or the panel stuff. 
There's even some text options in here so you can add your own text bubbles and things like that. And then we have this secondary toolbar over here which has a lot of our options. Things like all of our layers are located in there. Also there's a little color picker doohickey if you wanna go about picking your colors that way. And every time you've selected a tool, uh, you have options for that tool. So if I'm on the pen tool and I hit those options, I'm gonna see my options for the pen tool. So this is where all my brushes for that are. Grab the pencil tool, go to my options. Here are my uh, pencil tool options. And if you're thinking, hey, I want more pencils than that, no problem, you can go online, you can buy other people's brushes or download brushes that are available and pull them into this app as well. And then the next step down, um, hold on. This is where we can change like our brush size and density and the, all that sort of thing that you'd expect there. And the next one over is just a bunch of presets. So it's sometimes easier to just say, okay, I want the 15 pixel brush. Okay, I want the 30 pixel brush. Whatever, whatever works best for you. There are so many features in Clip Studio that it's hard to really go over all of them. I, I know some of the big ones that people are gonna be looking for. Are, can you do animation? And yes, the animation stuff is in here. Let me see if I could turn on the timeline. I haven't even tried that yet. I think that's maybe over a window Ooh, timeline. There you go. There's your animation timeline. We've got this little sidebar over here that you can slide in, which gives you like your alt key and your space key. One thing I haven't been able to test out here is I do not have a keyboard for this thing yet. When I get the Tab S7 Plus, I am gonna be grabbing a keyboard for that to do some testing. So then I'll be able to see what kind of keyboard shortcuts are in here. Probably my favorite thing about Clip Studio is the ability to use this paint bucket tool and have it used on reference layers. So in the settings of the paint bucket tools, you can say, I want this to refer to other layers. And then let me go and grab a, you know, kind of a color for a skin tone. That's probably too light. I'm not gonna be picky here. And then I can just, hold on. I actually have to be on the right layer. Let me go to my color layer. And then I can just tap and it's gonna fill it in. And it's really easy to fill that stuff in. Now what's cool is let me color in the door. So I'll grab just like a brown color. Okay. And I get to fill in the door. Cool. Door filled in. Okay, let's fill in the wall. Let's grab a lighter color. Whoops. Click OK. It fills in the wall. Why is that special? Well, because if I look at my layers, my panels are on a different layer than my inks. Yet this, uh, this paint bucket is figuring out how to take those two layers together and use them as a reference layer so that my ink isn't spilling out all over the page. I love that. I absolutely love that because you can have, uh, I can have like hatch lines or something like that on a different layer and I can toggle those off and, and the paint bucket knows. It's just, it just works so well. Let me bring over my phone and I've already pulled out the stylus here and there's some air actions available for this. This is something that is uh, new with the Samsung styluses. Actually, it was new last year, but they've added gesture to control to the stylus. And so it's kind of cool to see Clip Studio taking advantage of that and allowing me to like, I can swipe one way with my stylus, swipe up, swipe down, and it looks like I can customize those things. So if I wanted to switch to an eraser, I could swipe up. If I wanted to go back to pen, I could swipe down. If I wanted to undo, I could swipe left. Um, that's kind of cool. Let me get into the program here. But yeah, it, it draws really well. You see that the interface is different. Um, we've got these little you know slider things here to adjust the size of your brush, which I actually like better than having to dive in and do that you know manually in there. It doesn't affect me too much in Clip Studio because the pens are really nicely pressure sensitized. So once I set in on a certain size pen, if I just want a thicker line, I just press harder onto the screen and I get I get more of that. If I want less of a line, I, I just kind of press lighter. The other thing I've noticed, at least about drawing on the screen, is this is this is the new Note 20, uh, the Note 20 Ultra, and my, my stylus uh, slides off the screen a lot of times when I try to grab some of that stuff, so I tend to use my finger a little bit there. But also on the phone version, most of the stuff is in here. Even animation is in here, which is crazy to me how they've gotten this on the phone. I also noticed that they have this timer up here telling you how many minutes you're into your 60 minute uh, demo for the day. 
So you can, I, I that, that's actually probably going to drive me nuts on the phone. If only have three minutes left, but, but I do kind of like the idea. I don't think I'm going to be drawing on my phone for more than an hour a day. But if I'm going somewhere, I can just upload my file and do some detail work or do some flat colors or something like that. I think that's just really cool that you could take this stuff with you now. I love it. So let me just demo uh, drawing a little bit. As you can see, you know, panning and zooming is a little wonky, but you know, when you kind of get in here, actually, why am I drawing with this tiny stylus? Give me something I can wrap my hand around here. You just come in here and draw. It feels just as good to draw on as it does on the iPad or on the desktop. I actually prefer it a little bit here than I do on the desktop in some ways, uh, but yeah. I think this is fantastic. I think you guys are gonna love this. I think this is a big jump forward for Android for a lot of obvious reasons. It makes it so much easier now for me to recommend an Android tablet, uh, especially for pros. I know if you were just looking to sketch or something like that, there's some good apps out there. Um, obviously Procreate's not on the Android uh, app store or on Android at all. However, there are apps that are just as, well, I don't think they're as good as Procreate, but there are apps that have the same level of of features and functionality is Procreate already available on the Android App Store. So if you wanted a quick sketching app and then also a professional level app that you could use, this this fits that bill. So that is Clip Studio on Android. Uh, the sun is starting to pour in through my window. I apologize. I tried to block it the best I could. But what do you think? Let me know down below in the comments. Thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you in a couple of days.